Hello and welcome. Today we will cover how to create a logger from scratch in C without using standard library. First, let's design how we want to use it. I have created four different example logs. One empty, without any colors or additional attributes. And three similar logs that display their types at the beginning and change color based on the log type. Input will be divided in two parts. Like in C printf, the first string will be our formatting string, but unlike printf, we will use dollar sign to determine insertion field. And types u for unsigned, i for signed integer, f for floating points and s for strings. We define log types in an enum and a log data structure to retrieve values by the type from the variadic array. The log preprocessor looks like this, create a buffer of a constant size. It's perhaps better to create a globally defined dynamic array for the logger buffer, which could be a topic for the next video. Then initialize the array of log data from the variadic arguments. Call the compose function to build the final string, which takes the buffer, format string and log data array as an input and return the length of the string. Finally, call the platform write to console function. Let's see how it looks. We input the final string, its length and color index that refers to the globally defined array containing console text attributes for the text color. We retrieve the console handle, apply the attributes, write the string to the debug output and console. At the end, we set the console attributes. The main work lies in the string composer, which builds the final string to the buffer. We iterate through the format string and then find a dollar sign. We check the second chapter after it and call the appropriate function for converting digits to the string or copying a string if we get an S option. Otherwise, we paste whatever symbol is next in the format string. And don't forget the ending string symbol. And we're ready to go. Oh, and one more thing. When I try this, it always output wrong string for the floating point values. And the problem was with the union initialization. It always initialized to the first value in union. In our case, unsigned integer. So it was converted on the fly to unsigned integer and then we read it as a float, which caused a conversion to be wrong. To solve this, we need to write float to unsigned integer as is, without conversion. For that, I defined a small function to write float to unsigned and added it to the log calls. Perhaps in the future we will add conversion inside the preprocessor, but that will be a task for the next video. And finally, assert that will terminate application if condition will be false and log file and line where assert was called. Thank you for watching and consider subscribing to motivate me to create more videos frequently. Ciao!